and his running mate, an astute scholar and an author, Andrew Letepa Sunkole. The first thing that came to my mind when I got to his house and he said, you know what, you are going to be my running mate. I thought we are going to be jogging together. <laughs> At the same time, Kalonzo's foot soldiers rejected the chief minister position offer that had been tabled to their boss, Barelo Dinga, arguing that it was an afterthought. I have nominated Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka as the chief cabinet secretary with the responsibility to coordinate and supervise functions of the government. Was Kalonzo Musioka offered a chief minister's position in a power-sharing agreement of Azmir? The answer is no. no. Respectively, I say no. Thank you. Earlier sources say there were heated backroom negotiations and host trading to have Kalonzo accept the position and appear at the KICC. The high-stake meetings, which are said to have been convened by President Uhuru Kenyatta, included the former prime minister and the former vice president. We did not agree, and I said, let's sleep over it. We slept over it, and last night we are at it. We did not ag again agree. Because the phone calls we have had the whole of this morning were totally and wholly unnecessary. If he goes it alone to the ballot, history may repeat itself, as was in 2007 general election, where Kalonzo garnered 800,000 votes. This could potentially complicate Trailer's fifth stab at the presidency. This comes as the Wiper lawyers remained mum as to whether or not they had submitted a case in court to impeach the Zimio deal that ties them in the coalition. Even so, the process to leave Azimio may turn to be a long, windy path. The decision by the White House leader, Kalonzo Musioka, to bolt out of Azimio One Kenya Coalition political party is expected to have far-reaching consequences with only 84 days left before the August 9 general election. Emmanuel Tso, KT News, Karen.